Welcome back to our program tonight. Let's begin with our summaries. Cargo disinfection exercise at all entries and exits of the country's seaports will commence at the end of February to prevent and protect Ghana from risks and threats of dangerous infections from abroad. Plus, companies in the United Kingdom spending less and scaling back plans because of Brexit fears that have pushed business confidence to its lowest level in a decade. Details next. Cargo disinfection exercise at all entries and exits of the country's seaports will begin in February to prevent and protect Ghana from risks and threats of dangerous infections from abroad. The exercise is in compliance with the international health regulations published by the World Health Organization, of which Ghana is a signatory of. A weekly survey by the Ghana News Agency has revealed prices of commodities in various major market centers in Accra closed at the end of January with mixed reaction. The survey showed that while prices of some foodstuffs were stable from previous weeks, trading at marginally higher due to supply variations from the hinterland, other commodities were not available. Gold Street Business reports Ghana's aviation sector will before the end of the year undergo two set of audits that would address loopholes, making the country more compliant with, with international standards. According to sources within the Ghana Civil Aviation Authority, government will deliver a robust aviation sector for the country. Companies in the United Kingdom are spending less and scaling back plans because of Brexit fears that have pushed business confidence to its lowest level in a decade. The dire outlook was reviewed Monday in surveys published by Deloitte and the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales.